Howdy y'all, Fuzzy Biker here at the Mighty Minitropolis of Marnie, Iowa, Baxter Cycle. And look what I got behind me today. It's another Royal Enfield Hunter 350, but this one is very different than all the other ones. Y'all can see it, I'm sure, already. A little bit of an add-on stuff here. This is a very interesting motorcycle to me. I saw it here uh, yesterday, I think, when I was here. And I just fell in love with it. And uh, I'll try to go over the little bits and pieces of it, then we'll take it out for a ride, okay? Uh, where do I start? Uh, well, it's a 348cc single cylinder, um, two valve overhead, overhead cam, five speed transmission. You know, we've talked about that before already. I think the wheelbase is 53.9, that's 1370 millimeters. It's got uh, 5.9 inches of ground clearance. Isn't that cool? And we'll talk about what's up there too. I think that's uh, 170 millimeters. Um, I can't remember the specs for the front, 5.1 inches maybe on the front, which is about 130 millimeters for travel. And I think the back is four inches with, uh, that's about 102 millimeters. <laughs> I'm getting old. Anyway, uh, beautiful bike. The seat height in standard form, though this has got different tires. I, I think it was uh, 31.1 inches, which is 100 and 90 millimeters, I believe. I believe that's right. But uh, this one's had some stuff done to it. And it should be jumping all out at y'all, but doesn't that just look... This this was made to be a camping bike, or uh, like a horse show bike, or, you know, campground bike. Um, it's got... Let's just start with the most obvious things. The knobby tires. Look at those tires. These are a size up from what's normally on there. Let's see if we can find the size. 4.617s, or 17s. Uh, they did put tubes in it because it's a tube tire. It's made for tubes, not not made to be tubeless. And they also sized up the back tire. Uh, Shinko's, by the way. Trail tire, Shinko trail tire, SR20, or 244 it says. Just a beautiful, aggressive looking tire. We're gonna take this up for a ride and see what it feels like. They jumped up on the fender, took the stock fender off, put this raised up fender here. Nice guard on the front. They wanted the light color guard for contrast. Isn't that just, that whole, just like that alone is really neat. By the way, these have a 41 millimeter fork. Uh, jumping up here, bar end mirrors, built well grips, and they, uh, and bar ends of course. Built well grips to match the tank. Isn't that just neat? Isn't that just a real wow thing, isn't it? Jumping over to the back. I already talked about the tire, I think. Uh, let's see, what else did they do? Oh, this GV. GV uh, rack on the back. Isn't that pretty? And I think they're going to put a box on there or something. Maybe. Maybe not. I think somebody, if, if this is sold, I think the person is going to do it. I just love it. I think it's gorgeous. It's a great color for that. You know, silver is a nice color for dirt. But look, look at that back end. Isn't that just, wow. Just a wow machine. Other things I would do, I would put a foot on there. And uh, if this was my bike, I would put the pipe on it. They've got that, the Abalo pipe that they have on BaxterCycle.com. Well, I think the time has come to go take that hot rod for a ride. Let me get my helmet on and we will hit the road. Wahoo! Howdy y'all, Fuzzy Biker here. Well, we've seen this bike before, but uh, we're in a different setting now, aren't we? Uh, what happened is the GoPro footage went bad, so we had to come and get some more. This is now in its natural environment, the farm. Uh, a couple other changes have happened to it. He put a different seat on it. Royal Enfield signature seat. Put this little mat on here. Uh, ram mount. Yep. Okay, let's take her for a spin. We are going to see how it works on a gravel road. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. All right, I shall return. Hey, let's go over this hump. <laughs> so he's got those great big tires on there. He got those because he wanted a campground bike and a gravel road bike. And he has some interesting comments about that. Uh, he loves it on gravel, very stable, very secure, he says. We're gonna find that out. We're gonna take it down the road here and see what happens. But he's also got some negatives to talk about. And uh, we'll get to that. I love the grips on this. He's got these built well grips and they are the most comfortable grips. They're, when you squeeze them, they. They, they just feel good in the hand. That diamond pattern's excellent in the barrel shape. The, mirror, the mirrors, you know, the mirrors are actually really good. 
I'm going to go slow because I haven't ridden this bike on gravel ever. He's absolutely right. It just tracks excellently. I'm thinking the big heavy tires are uh, the good, you know, good gyroscopic fours. That's what makes it so stable. And uh, for a campground, those are exactly the kind of tires you'd want. And of course, for these roads, same thing. I bet this would be a great dirt bike. You know, dirt as far as uh, like dirt road bike. I love the way it sounds. That's stock exhaust. Hope you all can hear that. It seems to have good pickup. And that's going to be an interesting comment because I got something to say about that here in a second. Or he's got something to say about that. Okay, let's see what kind of traffic we got here. The brakes on these infills are great, especially on these kind of roads. I think they're really set up for, you know, these types of roads. So one of the complaints he has about the new tires that he put on here. Now look at that, we got good pickup. We're going right up to 50. Anyway, one of the complaints he has about the tires is that they limit the top speed of the bike. He said where the bike would go 75 before, he said he couldn't get it to go over 65, I think. And right now we're struggling to get over, we're about 56 miles an hour. As far as the ride goes, those tires, even though they're knobbies, they're big old knobbies, they're actually a very comfortable tire. Uh, when I drove this bike in Marnie the other day, the video footage got lost. I was absolutely amazed at how well it rode. And it didn't give you that thumpy thumpy, you know, knobby tire feel when you're doing the tight turns and things like that. I think this is actually the location of the first town in Cass County, right here. Let's go down there and see what that says. Kind of a test for the bike, right? Iranistan, wildlife area, Cass County, no shooting. Uh, there's a gate up so we can't go through that. But this is exactly the kind of thing this bike would be excellent at. I mean, <laughs> we could go over that fence over yonder, couldn't we? Let's go take a look. Oh, yeah, we could easily do that. <laughs> We're not gonna. Ah, oh, there's water back there. I love it. So the bike, I think, has great low end. Okay, we're talking about the big tires now. I think the bike has great low end with those tires. They're still good low end. It definitely seems to hurt the top end. We'll go down this hill, we'll see what kind of speed we can get out of it. Uh, the bike does have a gear indicator, by the way. So fuel gauge on top, clock, gear indicator, trip A, trip B, and odometer. And then, of course, the analog speedometer. Fourth gear. I'm going to scoot back on the seat and kind of lay down a little bit. And there's fifth gear. Let's see what kind of speed we can get out of it. I'm about 220 pounds before breakfast in my socks. And we are topping out at 62, 63 miles an hour, 64, 65. Hey, hey, hey. We are rolling, rolling, and we're slowing down. So very interesting. It definitely takes something off the top. The other problem he saw with it is he burned a tank of gas through it and he got 35 miles a gallon, he claims. And uh, you know, that's just not very good. Now that's fine if it's only a campground bike, you know, you're gonna ride it a couple, a couple hundred miles, maybe a thousand miles a year, who cares, right? Um, but if he wants to use it for running errands and uh, you know, taking little trips on it, 35 miles a gallon would give you about a hundred mile range. I do like the way it handles on this gravel. This is a very flat gravel road. It's not a, but it, it, the bike did well. It did well in that little park back there. Me gusta, me gusta mucho. So back to driving around uh, Marnie, I thought it did, had great pickup around town. You know, if you were gonna stay in town, uh, if you were gonna drive, um, like dirt bike areas, you know, or do things like that, campgrounds, I think these tires seem to be an okay thing. If you're going to uh, do a lot of highway, they're definitely the wrong tire, aren't they? I like the way it feels. The, the handling is actually quite nimble. I mean, it's a 17-inch wheel with this massive tire on it. Lots of gyroscopic force. Feels very stable even on these, even on this road. Of course, pretty good road. And I think the pickup is good. We're in third gear there. It's a real good looking motorcycle too, I think. I think those tires add a lot to the look, a lot to the gravel handling. They just take away from the nimbleness of the motorcycle and the road handling, and of course, the fuel mileage too. The other thing they did when they put these heavy tires on, they also put 
uh, inner tubes in them. So that's a double, you know, another level of mass, rotating mass. What did I do? Drive by the house? <laughs> I think I did. <laughs> Maybe I didn't. I don't know. Well, yes, I did. Pickup is excellent. I think it's a great gravel road. We're going to get one of these. Wanted to scrambleize it. These tires would be a good way to good way to go. I think. You just like I said, you're going to sacrifice a little bit of a uh, top speed and fuel mileage. Huh. Somebody's property here where we go down that little road. I like it. I like it a lot. I I could yeah. This is a very enjoyable machine. It's a good rider's bike as far as that goes. That's one thing about the Hunter is it is set up for the rider. You know, if you're an aggressive, sporty kind of guy, this is really a good bike for that. You know, we did that with the uh, I can't what they what do they call it the white lightning bike, the uh, one where they put the header on it. We did a hundred mile ride on it. This is the. Uh, other side of that equation this is the that was a pavement bike where this is definitely a great off-road you know gravel road dirt road campground bike the performance is excellent I think in this sense for this kind of a motorcycle and with those big tires you can go right through any any old mud puddle <laughs> you could probably almost <laughs> with the size of those tires you could probably almost float all righty, let's get back. I like the way the bike looks. I love the way Baxter's has uh, geared it up. You know, the chrome light guard, the uh, light colored bash guard on the bottom. You know, that's the opposite colors of the engine and the uh, bike itself. They just did a really good job. And of course the bar end mirrors, that's an interesting option for a dirt type bike. But uh, anyway, I love it. I love it. Hey, if y'all are interested in something like this, a new or used Royal Enfield Triumph or vintage bike of any type, get yourselves over to Baxter Cycle. Check out, check out what they got in stock at BaxterCycle.com. Wahoo! Now get out there and ride.